This is the world's most powerful rocket. NASA intends to use it to send humanity back to the moon. Monday's launch will be a crucial test for the Artemis mission. This is the uh, single step that starts the journey of a thousand miles. So we are going to launch a brand new heavy lift rocket uh, with more liftoff thrust than the United States has ever produced, even more than the Saturn V. We've got a brand new capsule that can sustain a crew of four for 21 days on flights uh, to the moon, around the moon, and beyond the moon. We're going to test all that out. Artemis began its journey long before launch day. The booster rockets came by train from Utah. The core shipped by barge from Mississippi. That's where the world's most powerful engines were put to the test earlier this year. The rocket will push the Orion spacecraft beyond Earth's orbit. Several days and nearly 400,000 kilometers later, it'll reach the moon. Its orbit will pass within 100 kilometers of the lunar surface. After collecting the data it needs, it'll begin the return trip back to Earth. It is definitely getting real. Uh, the rocket outside on launch pad 39B will be writing the next chapter of, uh, of space exploration and space science. Uh, that chapter will include science all along the way, hand in hand with exploration. I've recently said to our science community, buckle up everybody, we're going for a ride to the moon. It's been 50 years since a human set foot on the moon. The next step for the Artemis mission will be putting a crew in lunar orbit by 2024, and then two astronauts on the moon the following year. But NASA doesn't plan to stop there. It's setting its sights on Mars. Proving out all the logistics of the habitats and the hatches and the suits and the rovers and the wheels and all of that stuff, proving that out on the moon is just like Artemis 1 buying down risk for Artemis 2. It buys down the risk so when we go to Mars, we deal with the exposure of the radiation on the long term. We deal with the fact that we've got to take all of our water and our food with us. The Americans aren't the only ones with lunar ambitions. China also wants to land a crew on the moon by the end of the decade. The new space race for the 21st century is only just getting started. Vincent Monaghan, Al Jazeera.